this tutorial I'll be using Adobe Photoshop 7 and I'll show you how to take a photograph, crop it, and then superimpose it onto a kaleidoglobe. Let's start by unlocking the photograph. So I'll click on the background, double click on the lock, hit OK to unlock the photo. The next step is actually to crop this into a circle. So we'll be using the marquee tool for this. I'll go up to the marquee selection and I have choices of rectangle or elliptical. I'll select elliptical, go back over to the photo, hold down my shift key and draw a circle around the photograph. Now I can use the arrows on my keyboard to position this circle. Once I have it in place, I'm going to go back down to the menu selection and add layer mask. So now we have our image cropped into a circle. The next step is to go up to Filter, select Blur, apply Gaussian Blur, and now we have a nice faded edge to the circle. And you can increase or decrease the effect by using this slider bar. So if I wanted less of a blur, I would decrease. If I wanted more of a blur, I would increase. Click OK to confirm the action. Then I'll click on my arrow key here. I'm going to just move this position, uh, this photo out of position here for a minute because we're getting ready to superimpose it onto the globe. So the next step is click on the photo. Holding down your mouse, click and drag and drop the image onto the globe. Now I need to resize this image. To do that, I'll hold down the control key and hit the letter T on my keyboard and I can't see the box all the way here. So I'm going to go up to one of the corners, hold down my shift key, and I can decrease the image or I can increase the image. So I'm going to decrease it slightly and position it into the center of the globe. Click on the check mark to confirm the action. Now the last step that we need to do is make this image a little bit transparent. And to do that, go back down to the menu selection and select Add Layer Style. Click on the Blending option and currently it's set at Normal with 100% Opacity. When I click on this slider bar and drag it back from 100, you can see the image starts to become transparent and gives the illusion that it's blended into the globe. So I'm going to reduce this down to about 72%, click OK, and now we have a completed kaleidoglobe. So now you can save this image in any format that you like and use it in other digital applications.